I have recorded and saved two scripts vuser underscore one and vuser underscore two which emulate the same business process login in Mercury tools booking a flight view itinerary and fourth sign off the steps involved in vuser comparison correlation are find the dynamic value to capture find the server's response containing the dynamic value capture the dynamic value in a parameter replace every occurrence of dynamic value with parameter check the changes let's look at each step one at a time what I have with me is a vuser underscore one script open if you remember the script was recorded in one of our earlier tutorials as I've already told you I've recorded and stored another script emulating the same business process as vuser underscore two to find the values to correlate I'll use tools click on compare with vuser select the script vuser underscore two click open the differences between the scripts are highlighted in yellow this essentially means that the parameter value changes from run to run which are highlighted so most probably the these values should be correlated the reason I use the word probably is because the tool shows four parameters in difference first the think time second the user session value third login.x and login.y login.x and login.y are the x and y coordinates where the button login is clicked even if these values are hard coded the script will not fail and will not affect the functioning of the website as well the third difference is the think time as you are aware the think time emulates the user pauses between activities so a variation in amount of think time can be a the fourth value and the difference is the user session session ID is unique and needs to be correlated for the successful script run in fact this is the exact value which is causing a script to fail so now we have zeroed in on the value to correlate second step find the server's response containing the dynamic value before that close the win difference utility here on you can use either of the two scripts either we use underscore one or we use underscore two I'll stick to we use underscore one to find service response we need to run the script uh, so I click on the verify replay link in the task pane before running in the run and time settings in the log enable extended login click OK click the replay again button to replay the script will obviously fail if you scroll down in the instruction pane there is a link replay log click on the link replay switch to the script view press ctrl plus F and enter the value user session we need to find this parameter in the server's response if you see the parameter user session appears in the form with action error.pl if I double click on the value of user session in the recording log in the script you will see the server's response so I can safely say that user session appears in the mercury web tools page under the action error.pl to track this parameter in the server's response click the tree view select the mercury web tools URL we seen it select the server's response 
switch to HTML view, click the node body. Here you see the action error.pl and in the HTML response you see the value of user session. So our second step of finding the service response containing a dynamic value is done. Step number three, capture the dynamic value into a parameter. To do this, highlight the value starting with 9, ending with Q of user session. Right click on the highlighted portion, click the create parameter option. A pop-up window is shown. If you press yes, you replace all occurrences of dynamic value. If you press no, you will have to manually replace the occurrences. Well, it is recommended that you manually rep uh, replace the occurrences. So I'll select no. If you observe before the Mercury Web Tools, there is another step created which is nothing but capturing the parameter value. If you observe this step in the script view, you see a method created which is web reg save param. The web reg save param is an inbuilt function used for parsing. In the syntax it accepts three arguments, the parameter name, the LB and the RB. The LB is the left boundary after which the value to be passed appears. RB is the right boundary before which the value to be passed appears. In the service response, the value 97253 ending with HTQ appears between the left boundary user session value equal to and the right boundary of a bracket. Accordingly, the WebRec save param function is created as follows with a suitable parameter name wcs param underscore text one with the left boundary and a right boundary. Remaining parameters relate to the location Step 4. Replace occurrences of dynamic value in the script. To do this, in the script view, press Ctrl F. Enter the name of the parameter to be correlated. There is only one occurrence of the parameter user session in the script. Replace the hard-coded value of user session with the parameter. I'll just copy the name of the parameter from top. The brace bracket just indicate value of the parameter wcs param underscore text one. The fifth and the last step is to check the script. To do this, click the verify replay link in the task pane. Scroll down and click the button replay again. As you see, no errors detected and the script runs fine. In this way, you can do manual correlation.